In this video, we're going to be ranking all 78 suits from Marvel Spider-Man 2 from best to worst. I've unlocked every single one of these suits. Some of them are behind side missions. Some of them are behind levels, which, you know, why was this the final level suit? <laughs> why was this rank 60 suit? I will never understand. But we're going to be checking out every single one of these suits, ranking them. Let me know which one of these is your favorite in the comments below, like for Peter and for Miles. Also, we are super close to 100,000 subscribers. That's my goal before the end of the year. So, you know, <laughs> for every single one that watches this, hits that like button and subscribes. I would truly appreciate it. Now, we've got a lot of suits to go through. So, let's get right into it. So, now, as you can see right here, we're starting off with the good old advanced suit, right? And as you can see it on the screen here, let me get it up. This suit is actually one of my favorites. It seriously looks fantastic. I love it. I love what they've done with it. Now, I do wish that the actual shoes had more red on them. I think that would look just as good. But I don't know, man. This suit I used for my whole first playthrough, and it's just, it's amazing, right? Nothing I can, nothing bad I can really say about it. So I'm just going to slap it into the best suits tier, right? Like, it's just, it's that good, okay? <laughs> nothing else I could say about it, right? And the next one that we have is the Insomniac Games Symbiote Suit, which is right here. Now, this suit is quite something, man. I wish it had some alternate styles to it, but I think for an Insomniac original, they did a fantastic job with it. And I love how it's got like the little gross symbiote moving tendrils on all of those fleshy bits that aren't armored at all. I think it's gross and it just shows that the suit's alive. I seriously love that. <laughs> I've also got to put this into the best suits category. I don't know, man. I'm just a sucker for that suit. It just looks really damn good. It's so fun, and it's something I've been waiting for for a long time. Now, the next one, actually, this is the symbiote suit. So this other one's called the black suit, but this one's actually the symbiote suit. And is what happens when you use your symbiote surge mode, which makes it more menacing, looking more like venom. And it just looks more like goopy. Like you can see all the armored bits are gone. And now it just looks like he's out of control with it. You know, it just looks incredibly menacing. And I love that emblem as well. I think for an Insomniac original, this is one of the coolest ones there as well. So this one will also be put into the best suits tier list. Like I just have to put it there. It's just that good to me personally. And then we've already arrived to the anti-venom suit now i don't really know how i feel about this one if i am really being honest with you like i think I, i've seen this coming in the story this whole suit like the anti-venom thing especially with mr negative being involved in the story quite heavily actually but you can see that the suit itself is you know very inspired by the advanced suit like that emblem there is pretty much one-to-one -one, and you could see it like kind of I don't know, like you can s just see it taking over. The lenses are probably my biggest gripe with this suit. I think if they were more like this, I'd like it a bit more. But at the same time, I don't really hate it, you know? It's it's something, right? So I'm gonna put this one in the like average suits and it might, it might get crucified for it. Like, I don't know. But to me, it just didn't really feel that cool like if, if it's like an anti-venom suit you think it would be a color palette inversion of the actual symbiote suit or maybe this like inverted version of this would probably go super hard but that's just my own opinion right like you know let me know what you guys think in the comments below as well so now we're on to the classic suit man and i i just you can't go wrong with that you can't go wrong with the classic suit ever it's just always one of the best suits it just looks that good to me it's always just, you know, like, if you haven't done Insomniac, like, Marvel Spider-Man PS4 playthrough with this, I would highly, like, encourage it, because it's just such a cool one, right? I will also do a Styles tier list, not in this video, but in a different one, because there's a whole lot of them to go through, man. There's, like, 200 plus styles, right? So, we're going to do that in a different video. But now we've got the Scarlet Spider 3 suit. And this one, like, in the comics, it looked really damn gross because you could, like, kind of see his mouth through the, you know, mask for some weird reason. It was really gross. But in this game, I, I friggin' love this, man. I'm, I'm such a huge fan of hooded suits. So to me, 
this one just has to get slapped at least into I guess best suits. I don't know, man. Like it's, it's just that good to me, you know. Like I, was, I, I have a pretty interesting suit taste. So, you know, it's pretty, pretty damn good, right? And now we have the advanced suit, so we're kind of just not really trying to power through it. But it just this advanced suit. I don't know, man. Like it, it was the best in terms of what it was. Like yeah, I, I still think they should have fixed the way it looks in this game because it's not as red. It's kind of very. Like, if you compare it to this and the classic, you know, it's very light, right? Like, it's very light. I wish it kind of had more of a red color like this to it. But it is what it is. This one, I'm going to have to put in the good suit tier list just because it's not as red. That sounds very stupid to say, but... <laughs> hey, man, it's my opinion, right? So, now we've arrived to one of the first original designs here. Uh, when it comes to separate artists working on this the Kumo suit now. I don't know man. I I Really want to say I like it. I really really do right. I haven't really used this one too much So I can't say much. I I do love the inspiration. I love the artist like it, on art. It looks amazing but it's really hard for me to put this one in a spot like I love the masks there. I love the tattoos and but it's just so hard to kind of like i think it's more so the head shape that does it for me like i don't know if you guys agree with me i might be making like one of the worst hot takes ever but it's like it's it's i don't know man it's not a bad suit but it's not an average suit either it's like kind of i don't know man it's it's a good suit or actually i put it into yeah, good suit. Like, it's good, but I don't know, man, you know? So maybe... Yeah. Maybe if we rename this to, like... Alright. Yeah, that makes more sense. Like, it's an alright suit, you know? It's... It's just alright to me. And that sounds so... <laughs> kind of mean to say, but... I love the design, but at the same time... It's... I don't know, man. It's just... It's got so much going on. Like, I love it, but, you know, I don't know. I'll have to spend more time with it. Now, the hybrid suit, I, you know, with with No Way Home, it's like, it's, eh, I don't know. It's it's a bad suit to me, personally. Like, I wish they would have kept at least the Far From Home suit itself. Or, you know, because that, that just feels like a merchandise thing there. It's just the Iron Spider, but with the... Buffer Home suit, I guess. I don't know. I'm not really too much of a fan of this one. It's just too much going on with it. MCU stuff, you know, and that's that. And now we're going to move on to the amazing suit. And with this one, man, like, I know it's got a lot going on, but I just love what they did with it. The experimentation. And obviously, I'm just a huge sucker for the amazing Spider Man movies. I always love them. So this one goes into the best suits. Sorry, not sorry. It's just an amazing suit, you know. It looks so good and I, I don't know man like I a lot of people made fun of it for it's like basketball sort of uh, like patterns I guess or whatever texture but I liked it you know and then we, we've gone straight into the amazing spider-man 2 suit and there's a lot of controversy with this so we're like oh the mods are better than this well don't worry about the mods man this be grateful that we actually have this suit and it looks good right? like it looks good it's got the insomniac spider-man proportions and yeah, I'm gonna put this one in the best suits because it is one of the best Spider-Man suits of all time. Big lenses, and it just got the right colors, right textures. It's just super good. It's just such a good suit, you know. You can't ever really go wrong with this one, you know? And now we've got the Spider-Man 2099 suit. I actually really like this one uh, to use. It's a really nice suit to look at, right? Like, I, I really like what they've done with it, but it's not like my favorite, you know? It's like, it's a good suit, you know? I'm gonna put it in a good suit tier list, and then we're gonna carry on to our friend, the Scarlet Spider, otherwise known as Ben Riley. Now, something that they've done, <laughs> they haven't included the Scarlet Spider suit, like the Kane suit, which is kind of a shame, but the Scarlet Spider suit is always good. Like that classic hoodie with the spray painted emblem 
will always stand out to me. Like this design is always good and it's always a treat to see this suit be in, you know, in Marvel Spider-Man. So of course I'm gonna slap it in the best suits. Now we're already moving on to actually one of the coolest suits that I haven't really had the chance to use much, but I already love it so much. Because first of all, if you didn't know, when you use the suit with the um, spider arms, like they changed to the actual main color of the suit. So it'd be red and with the stars, blue, black, and then like white and green. It just looks phenomenal. Like this suit is definitely one of the coolest ones out there, in my personal opinion. Like the spectacular suit, uh, well, not spectacular, superior suit is just, just that superior it's one of the best suits in the game for me personally and you know <laughs> there's not much else to say that big spider emblem is so cool and it's the whole black and red vibe that i've really grown to love it's just oozing with power here and it looks amazing and now we've got the antioch suit again i've had a lot of time with this one and i've got to say man like it's 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 all right you know like it's it's a cool suit in the grand scheme of things but, you know, it could tell it's a one-off, right? Like, we've seen Spidey use it against the <laughs> Doc Ock fight, which the whole purpose of it was the anti ox suit. It wasn't, like, a something else suit. Like, it's, it's definitely an alright suit to me in that regard. But, you know, I haven't really used it too much myself. Um, so that is what it is, right? Not much else I can really say about it, right? Like, it's, it's just, it's alright. <laughs> and now we've got the Arachnite suit, which, dude, come on. Come on, man. How do you not put this as one of the best suits out there? This comes from a story where um, Moon Knight and Spider-Man are pretty much the same character. So, you know, you've got that cool hood. You've got the white and red and black. And damn, this is good, man. Wow. This suit is just top tier for me. Like, it's already going into the best, you know, into the best suits. Like, it's just, it's just that good, you know? And how, how can I say no to it? <laughs> it's just too good, man. And then we've got the Into the Spider-Verse Noir suit, which was a pleasant surprise, to be honest. Like, we all love Nicolas Cage Spider-Man. And the fact that Spider-Man actually has a Rubik's Cube animation as he's falling down like he tries to solve it. So it's kind of like a cool Easter egg for this character. Like, they included pretty much like a whole animation for him, too. And it just looks great. Like, the trench coat actually looks amazing when you're swinging around. Like, it's got all of these physics to it. Like, you can see it when I'm moving it around and stuff. And I don't know, man. Like, the Spider-Verse style is always wonderful. This is definitely one of the best suits out there, like, for sure. How could I say no? Like, if I put it in, in anywhere else, it'd just be, like, a terrible... <laughs> like, I, I know for sure we'll all universally agree that, you know, I'd be crucified in the comments. <laughs> and, yeah, let's, let's keep it moving. So, now we have the homemade suit, right? The homemade suit from Spider-Man Homecoming is actually... Probably one of the coolest MC ones because it showcases how Peter just used a bunch of different homemade things, right? Clearly, that's the name of it, to just create himself a suit to be the friendly neighborhood Spider Man, right? And then he has his final confrontation with Vulture um, in this and he pulls it off. So the whole lesson was that it's not the suit that makes him Spider Man, it's himself, it's his own genius and things like that and for that reason it is one of the best suits for sure um and how could you say otherwise then we have the spider punk suit which you know it's actually a really damn cool suit i've always loved this in the insomniac style i mean like you know come on man it's so cool dude we we all love spider punk and obviously he's definitely become even more popular with across the spider verse and having hobie be such a really cool character I kind of wish they also had a Spider-Punk suit from, you know, Spider-Verse in this game. Um, but maybe, maybe we might get it one day. Who knows? Um, but it's a damn cool suit, this one. And this one also goes into the best suits. Like, I don't know, man. Not, not much bad things I can say about it at all, really. It's just too cool. Now, this is a Secret Wars Civil War suit. And this one is very special in the game as well. If you didn't know, it has its own separate wings that come out of this bit here. Because um, this is kind of like Falcon's technology that he uses in the comics. And dude, this suit, you know, it looks a bit over-designed. But I actually really love the pants there. Like the kind of military style pants. It's got a lot of straps on. 
but it kind of works for this suit, right? Like it kind of works. No spider emblem inside, but that is fine. Cause he's still got the trademark Spidey look. I've got to put it into like good suits at least. Like I want to put it into the best suits, but there's something holding me back from that. So I don't know. Good suit, best suit, I guess best suit. I don't know. It's a, it's a, it could go back and forth between good and best. Um, so I'll put it, put it in good for now. Then if I change my mind, we'll come back to it, right? It's just, it's a cool suit though. Like it really does look really damn cool. Now we've got the Iron Spider armor and with this one, you can never go wrong. This is what I think they should have kept the look off in the MCU. Like they should have at least, cause they've had a really cool concept art with this and then the MCU eyes being gold. I think that would have been really damn cool as a mix. Um, but this suit is like peak in terms of just good old Iron Spider, right? Like it, it is what it says it is and it looks damn good doing it, right? And Insomniac did kill it with the design. So we're putting it into the best suits, right? Like they've already cooked so hard with it. And speaking of cooking, right? There's the Spider-Man 3 symbiote suit. And a lot of people kind of decided to hate on this one specifically because it's not up to the standards of the modders. And I know, <laughs> trust me, like I know I've covered probably every single symbiote suit mod for Spider-Man 3 in Marvel Spider-Man Remastered. But this suit, fits what Insomniac has in mind. Like the proportions are accurate to the PS4 slash PS5 Insomniac Spider-Man. That's the whole point, right? The emblem is good, it's fine. You know, the actual patterns are perfect. Um, the textures are perfect, you know. And for that reason, both of these, like the webbed and the symbiote suit are gonna go, uh, well, the, okay. So here's what I'll do. I'm gonna rank both of these at the same time. So the symbiote one will go into the best suits and the Raimi one will go into sort of like good suits. Like it's good, but it's not perfect like the best suit just because of, obviously like I'm not saying it has to be photorealistic, right? But at the same time, you could tell that it's not the same as this one, right? Like the webs are just a bit too thick it feels like. That's all, that's all it is to me. I don't know. but. That, no, that's not saying it's a bad suit by any means. It's a damn good suit. And then we've got the upgraded classic suit, which I think they've renamed quite a few of the MCU ones, right? So the upgraded classic suit um, is, is a damn good suit, actually. Like, <laughs> you know, it is designed by Tony Stark, you know, yeah, you know, but at the same time, it's like a modern take of the classic suit. My probably least favorite thing, I've got to be honest about it, is the emblems. I really don't like the front emblem. The back emblem is completely fine. The front emblem, not so much. However, I will put this into a good suit tier list, right? Or best suits, because it is one of the best suits out there. I will not hate on it, because it's, it's damn good, right? Like, it's good. Now, we have, in the place of the bombastic Bagman suit, that we have the new blue suit. And what this is, it's a Fantastic Four style suit, right? I mean, clearly, like they've got the Fantastic Four Baxter building. Like they brought the, literally the Fantastic Four <laughs> ended up buying Kingpin's, I'm pretty sure like old building or something. And now they're here to stay. And with this suit, you know, it's literally the classic suit, right? With the Fantastic Four sort of colors, textures, and dude, that back emblem actually goes kind of hard though. So I don't know, man, like I love that emblem as well in the middle, like it's meant to have the four in it, but Spidey's like, nah, -uh, we're having the spider emblem in there. So this is probably like for when he teams up with the Fantastic Four, he just comes in and he's like, yeah, I'll have the colors or whatever, but you know. <laughs> yeah, so damn, best suits straight up, like nothing else I could say about it, man, you know? Then boom, we've got the upgraded suit. And this one, without a question, they've already imp improved the logo a lot more since uh, Homecoming. I actually like this logo a bit more, even though it still looks like a like a man in there, like a dude with like iron arms coming out of him. Which maybe that's what they were going for. I don't know. Like it's 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 very interesting. But that back emblem I actually really like a lot. You know, I don't know. It just kind of works. It's grown on me a lot. Like this whole suit has. So I will actually put this one into best suits as well, right? Like it's just, it's nice to look at, it's beautiful. Um, 
and gone from there, stealth suit straight into the war suits. I am sorry, I... <laughs> this suit, I don't know, dude. I know this was like a, oh, Spider-Man's going to... I think, what, what country did they go to? Did they go to Italy or something? I don't know, like... But yeah, it's just obviously meant to be like a stealth one-off suit. But damn, I just don't like it. Obviously, he, they called him like Night Monkey or whatever. But you can clearly tell it's still meant to be Spider-Man. But uh, nah, nah. I just, I don't know, man. I just don't like it at all. It's just meh to me. And going from meh to the greatest classic Spider-Man suit of all time. Now, I gotta say this is probably my favorite classic suit. At least like, oh, like this current design. I mean, first of all, you still got some insomniac textures on it in the sense of that you know the actual lenses are the same as the ones from the symbiote suit that Somniac cooked up you've got some veins in the suit as well which do look good like I, I don't mind that it gives it some texture and things um, some more details it's very well defined um, you could never go wrong with it like I mean look at this so we go from this one to this one and the eyes are pretty much almost the same except these ones are a bit bigger right so it's just too good it will go straight into the best suits without a single doubt in my mind like it was just one like it was just in a heartbeat best suit of all time for sure um and i'm really glad that they included that one and now we're going in, into the iron spider suit which actually looks like it got a redesign especially with the lenses like i feel like they definitely redesigned some of it for sure um i don't know man like when i watched the movie like um, Infinity War, I was like, yo, this is cool, man, like, you know, but then the more I looked at it, the more I was like, damn, this suit just looks fake, you know, like in Iron Man 1, the suit, the, the iron suit, like, obviously the Iron Man suit looked pretty real, dude, but then with the amount of years that went on and how heavily CGI things became, it just started looking fake and too shiny, and I think that's what drives me away from this, it just got too much, like, I like the actual logo, because it just looks like the evolution of his like you know spider emblem but it's just too much man it's just way too much and i hate to do this man but it's just a bad suit like probably worst suit one of the worst ones you know and it's a shame man i don't really want to say that kind of thing but like you know it is what it is and now we've got the new red and blue suit okay this is the no way home final swing suit right like that's what everyone used to call it and here they call it the new red and blue suit which in fact it is what that is i love the textures on this one the emblem is actually amazing this one doesn't glow golden so i don't know if they're still not going with that or whatever but the back emblem as well just looks fantastic the whole suit design is one-to-one -one with what we've seen in the movies on the hot toys it just looks fantastic the lenses are amazing and this is the definitive MCU Spider-Man suit. And for that reason, it goes straight to the best suits. Like, look at all the best suits so far. This is the definitive suit, however. Like, it just is. Um, so, you know, like, damn, man. <laughs> There's just a lot of suits that I really do like in general. And the black and gold suit really isn't one of them. And what this is, is this is this suit up here but right, inverted put inside out because some dude put paint on spider-man who's like okay i'm which makes no sense because then he'd have paint stuck to his face probably like, did, it, does that make sense to me like inverting this suit is a cool idea but you know i don't know man <laughs> i don't know i uh i don't really vibe with it and it probably feel gross on the inside of the suit too <laughs> Like, black and gold is a cool sort of color scheme, right? Like, it really is. I love all the circuitry. But at the same time, man, it, I don't know. This feels like a bad suit. It's not the worst suit out there, but it's, it's bad in my personal opinion. Now, the life story suit. I know that this suit is actually... I think this is the one where Spidey's old and he goes to space with Miles or something. And Miles is like possessed by Doc Hawk. I don't know, dude. It's, 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 I can't exactly remember the details, but this suit is actually pretty interesting, you know? Like, it, I don't hate it at all, actually. Kind of the opposite, right? Like, it, it kind of works really well. Like, I don't know what it is. It kind of just, it's aesthetically pleasing to me. So, it's, I'm not going to slap it in the best suits, of course, but like, you know, it's, it's, a, it's, it's, it's a, 
it's an alright suit. It's like a pretty good slash alright suit. And that doesn't mean it's bad by any means necessary. Like it gets really bad when we go bad to worse. And goddamn, I just realized <laughs> the bad and worse suits are all MCU, man. Damn. <gasps> I'm sorry, MCU. <laughs> now we have one of the actual coolest suits, dude. Like this one you unlock. And you get this one for both Miles and Peter. And this is the last hunt suit. And you get this one from finishing all of the Craven bases. And I gotta say, dude, like, you know, everything that Craven's done, Spider Man would never wear something like that. But as a suit on its own, dude, I don't know. I kinda mess with this one a lot, actually. That emblem is sick. Obviously, there's a bit too much color scheme wise going on, but like, I don't know. I, I love the emblem. I love the eye, like the lenses. I love the fur bits. I, I just love this suit so damn much. I don't know, dude. I don't know. I might have to do a whole separate playthrough with this one. And with that said, I mean, I'm slapping this bad boy into the best suits tier list just like that. It's just that clean, right? It's just that good. And straight up to the next completed suit. This one's the saving life suit. And this one you get from doing the side mission with Wraith. And obviously it's a very Wraith-like suit, purple, gold, black actually works like this one looks really good too like we've got some really cool suits here so this one's like if peter just kind of went down being a kind of a murderous character which no but you know it's a good suit it's not the best suit in my personal opinion but it's a damn good suit to be honest and now with the peter suits we can get to the bonus suits that were done by other artists so this one's the arancha arancha suit if, if i pronounce that right I actually really like this one, gold, red, and black, slash gray. Um, it, it looks like it's got a lot going on, but it's probably my, one of my favorites out of this bunch. And it goes into the best, for sure. Like, damn, there's a lot of good Peter suits here. But it goes into the best, just because it's just, I don't know, man. It just looks good. The colors kind of pop. And it just looks nice, right? Like, it's it's got a lot going on, but in this specific case, weirdly enough, it doesn't take away from it. Um, right? Like, yeah. Then we have the Apocalyptic suit, and this one as well, like, dude, he's got a whole bionic arm there, right? He's got a sick jacket. You can see his hair cut out, looks like a mohawk coming out of there. Um, his lenses are amazing. I mean, come on. And look at that, he's got AF-15 on it, which is for Amazing Fantasy 15. I just noticed that. <laughs> That's awesome, dude. Damn, yeah, no, this one is cool. That emblem goes hard. No, nah, man, this is one of the best suits as well. Straight up, we are putting that one up here, and damn, this category just got huge. <laughs> what the hell, man? But it's good, you know? It is damn good for the suit. And then we're coming down to the tactical suit, and I don't know, man. I don't know. Like, obviously, it's meant to be a tactical suit, but you'd think if it's meant to be more so strategic, he wouldn't have so many bright colors on it, right? So, I don't know. Splinter Cell vibes, but not one of my favorites, man. Not really one of my favorites. I gotta put it into sort of a bad suit, man. I'm sorry, but I don't know. I don't really feel that one. Then we have the Stone Monkey suit, and this one's actually quite cool. <laughs> like right it's quite cool you know it's got such a cool mix of colors it's got a beautiful design to it it looks like a bit much but at the same time it doesn't and I'm gonna put it into all right like it's an all right suit you know that doesn't mean I hate it or anything but you know it's pretty all right then the 25th century suit <laughs> yeah yes um it's cool. It kind of reminds me, like, if you look from the back here, it makes me think of, like, a Dead Space suit, dude. <laughs> like, Dead Space Spider-Man, you know? Uh, and I just realized, like, in the middle of there, that's an actual spider emblem, too. Like, it's it's cool. Like, it's it's an alright suit, too, actually. Like, it's not, not nothing too crazy, to be honest. Like, it's an alright suit. Um, and I quite, like, enjoy the design, but I need some time with these suits. So maybe sometime in the future we'll come back, maybe like six months from now, a year or something, and we'll redo this one. But that's all the Peter suits ranked. Now, let's move on to Miles here. And Miles has some damn good suits, dude. Like, Miles has some peak suits. And also, I just realized how good the upgraded suit here works with the No Way Home suit. Like, that would 
look sick together. But the upgraded suit, man, I am slapping this one in the best suits easily. Easily, without a doubt, this is the Miles Morales suit. It's got that insomniac flair, it's got the red lines uh, down his shoulders to his like wrist. And it just looks good. Kind of wish it had a bit more red, maybe where his knees are. Um, slash the sides there, like maybe that would benefit a bit more, but it's still a damn good suit, you know? And now, oh lord, oh man, we're coming up to the evolved suit, and the story implications of this suit are probably one of the, <laughs> the weirdest things. Like, we're in the middle of an invasion, and Miles comes out with this suit, and he's like, this is the Miles Morales special. <laughs> like, there's no cool suit out, there's no cool reason for it. It's just, he just comes out with it, and I'm not too big of a fan, right? I think it's, I don't know, actually. I, I think maybe it might just be the cutout. They look kind of weird, or I've seen a lot of good redesigns of this suit on Twitter, but I feel like this one would work a bit better, or like maybe even this one. I don't know, man, but I'm not too big of a fan of the evolved suit man i've got to say i um it's a bad suit it's, it's, it's quite a bad suit like it's still not the worst it's possible but man i don't know it's what it is right now the family business suit so i don't remember 100 if this is miles's iron spider suit from the comics or if this is the one that the prowler wears when he joins the dark avengers but the iron spider suit with this sort of color scheme is always an amazing suit and a delight to look at and it goes into the best suits tiers for sure like especially with this touch here where it kind of has like the little glowing bits going down the kind of like crevices slash lines and it just it's like pulsating and looks cool as hell man like it's always good and then we've got the classic suit from marvel spider-man miles morales and to be honest with you, like, you know, it's 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 still good. It's still a damn good suit. Um, I will still slap it into the best suits because it is. It, it's just good, right? It's that good. And I love it. <laughs> now, the track suit is probably one of my favorite Miles suits of all time. And I do have to show this here. They've included what I wanted originally this suit to look like, like black and red fully. And I think that this could have been the Miles suit for Insomnia. Like if he showed up, in like the final sort of mission here with this suit i would not be mad at all with that like the track suit is just one of the coolest ones and i will stand by this like for sure miles has some really damn good suits in this game and it shows and we've got the brooklyn 2099 suit as well and this one is one of the other designs that the like an artist actually did for the main suits here and this was revealed at new york uh comic con event um, and I remember like seeing this and I was like, damn, this one actually looks really good. Like it's got, <laughs> it's kind of weird when you look at it because it's got like all these armored bits from like the uh, stomach up and then down it's kind of baggy, but it works. And like the color scheme for it as well, just looks good. Um, I, I, I can't say it's like the best suit, like it's a good suit though. Um, it's just something's kind of holding it back. I don't know what that is, but yeah. And then the sportswear suit, man. This suit, dude, this suit. I mean, first of all, when he was training, like in Miles Morales, you know, you, you had him kind of wearing like one of Peter's classic suits under with like Miles' clothes, and it looked good, man. But then when you look at the actual styles of this suit, you can kind of see like the actual Miles Morales kind of suit come out under. And I think still it looks amazing, but that kind of puts it up. So we'll put it in good suits for now, and I think the styles will go into the best suits when we do get to that and now we're here with the last yep so this is the other life story suit both pete and miles have that and this is the one where he's like possessed by doc ock i'm not i don't really care too much about this one like it looks cool i'm glad that they included it but i personally like this is why i'm not really spending too much time on it like i don't really care about it too much so it's it's like an all right suit it kind of like yeah i mean it's both peter and miles here I, like it's both all right like nothing too crazy um miles is an adult here and peter i'm pretty sure he's an old man when it comes down to it um in the actual story not, not that has any significance but yeah 
Yeah, the Miles Morales 2099 suit actually looks fantastic as well. Like the the whole like glowing lenses like that. I, I wish they did more suits like that because damn, it looks menacing as hell, dude. And of course, you know, we've got uh, these really cool colors actually. Like all being here and looking looking menacing and really sick. So with this one, it goes up there in one of the best suits. Personally, I just really like it that much. And then we go to the advanced tech suit, and this one's kind of like I don't know, man. I don't know what you would call this one. This one would be kind of like not anti arc or anything like that, but it's 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 all right. It's cool. Um, it's just a mild suit that has a lot of armor to it. Maybe like an not like an iron spider, but kind of makes me think of the Infinity War suit if it was good, you know. <laughs> So this one is an actual good suit, like not the best, but it is it is good, right? And the Shadow Spider suit is one of the more not not I wouldn't say it's like one of the most recent mouse suits, but God, it looks good. So in the comics, like he doesn't actually have lenses, you can see his eyes, are like a part of his face. But I think the redesign here that Insomniac added with the lenses makes it look even more menacing, and that like. That cape there, like my boy is Batman. <laughs> he is Batman, dude. And look at the, just look at that, man. Look at the physics. The cloth physics is super nice. Obviously, no spider emblem in sight, but my boy doesn't really need it. I mean, he's got like a spider on his face, and it goes down his neck. So there we go. This is definitely one of the best suits, to be honest. Like Miles has got some banger suits in here, and it really shows, man. Like I don't know. Same with the Miles Morales 2020 suit. Like, you know, he's blinking here and he's like emoting and it looks amazing. I like, this suit is seriously one of the coolest ones. Kind of reminds me of, I forget what that music group is called. And he's even got the cool S on it, dude. Like, it's just such a cool suit. I love the LEDs, I like bits on there. Um, the jacket is amazing and I saw a really cool cosplay on Twitter of this suit. And it, it's just good, man. Like, it's just good. It's, and by good, I mean best, not like, like just a good suit, but I mean it's one of the best Miles Morales suits for sure. Like it just looks fantastic. And the purple rain suit actually, funnily enough, it, it kind of told us what was going to happen in Across the Spider-Verse, but it actually looks cool. Like it's one of my favorite suits from Miles Morales, the game, and seeing it return here shows that it's actually quite a popular suit. And it is actually, without a doubt, one of the best Miles suits up there. Yeah, like it's up there with the best suits just because you know it's it's green and purple and it just fits man it's like prowler just designed one for miles so if miles was kind of more of like a vigilante he'd probably be wearing this to be honest peak peak suit 100 like this uh bodega cat suit is one of my favorites hey spider-man you want to come out of the bag is he just stuck in there <laughs> maybe he's having a nap but this suit man it is just too good right it's just too good um the cat comes out with with finishers in the game i don't know if it happened in this one because i haven't really had the chance to use it like too much but i've used it a lot in miles morales yep here he is there's spider-man everybody say hi <laughs> and he's gone but it's one of the best suits seriously it, it has gameplay elements to it it's got a really fun side story and it's just really clean man like i love that hood there like that he's wearing and it's just it's the best like it's the best suit for sure it's too clean man it's too good it is genuinely too good now the forever suit man Whoa, rest in peace chadwick boseman um it always it always hurts man it always hurts but i'm glad that insomnia paid respect to the legend himself in this forever suit man it's miles with this sort of black panther style suit like if you kind of went to wakandan things or like i think that this might I don't know if this is like an Insomniac original, if it's something from the comics, but if Spider-Man, like if Miles became Black Panther and Spider-Man at the same time, this would be insane. And you know, if you look at the styles all the way to the right, there's like a purple variant as well, which of course is a yellow variant, which is um, clearly kind of meant like to be like the um, Uptown Pride suit from the classic suit in Miles Morales. And then you've got like a whole black variant, which is kind of just, you know, Black Panther, right? Very stealthy, very cool. Best suit for sure, like Miles has the best suit. Like in terms of this, it's one of the best too. And I'm really glad to put her up there. The homemade suit, um, this is cool. 
um, it's a good suit, man. Like, it, it's just a good suit, right? Like, it kind of reminds me of the Homecoming suit, like Marl's. And, I mean, it is good, you know? I don't know. I'll probably just put it in a good suit. Um, yeah, probably not the best suit, but it is a good suit. Because I haven't really... I haven't really used it much personally, you know, so that's the whole reasoning behind it into this part of her suit I mean, you've all seen the movie. You all know what this suit is. You all know how good it is um, <laughs> It goes up there into the best suits like easily It is just such a beautiful classic suit For miles and it's got the spray pa black spray painted emblem the whole suit like he wears it, he spray paints over the PDB Parker suit, making it his own, his own Spider-Man. Paying respect to his predecessor, but making it his own. And it's just, it's such a beautiful suit, man. It just works. And then we have the predecessor of the suit, actually. The Into the Spider-Verse uh, suit. And this one, you know, he fully puts it together. It's, it's hilarious, because he just like buys it, stands like, rest in peace, Stan. But it's like, it, all, it always fits, and it clearly doesn't fit. It's got the web shooters there, and <laughs> he puts on the cape, and then Peter B. Parker's like, no capes. Spider-Man doesn't wear capes. <laughs> I mean, come on, man. It's a good suit. I wouldn't say it's the exact best one, but it's a damn good suit in the sense of comedicness, and I don't know, man. It's just, it's just funny, dude, you know? And sometimes you just need a bit of funniness to, to a suit. So doing this in a playthrough would be hilarious, right? Now the end suit as well is one of the coolest suits, like best suits for Miles. It just looks really cool, like this is an older Miles himself. Just took a sip of my coffee there. Um, it's one of the best Miles suits as well. He's got a cool jacket there, it looks fantastic, he's got a hoodie, his eyes are more like menacing, kind of like camo pants, work really well, and he's got boots. I mean, it, it, it's just like such a cool stylistic suit in my personal opinion. So it has to go up in the best suits for sure. And, and Miles actually, look at this dude. He's got such a good track record of suits now, actually in the best suits. Um, he's only got one bad suit so far, as opposed to like Peter's five. So, you know, damn good track record so far. Speaking of which, this suit did not deserve all the hate it got, man. Like this suit was meant to be Miles' new look and um, it kind of got chased away. It got chased away by all the haters, and now we didn't know how good we had it when we had it. I personally always liked the suit. I love the back emblem. I love his, like, the bit of the undersuit, the design. Like, it's just so nice looking, you know? And I think this could have been something really special if it stayed around and was allowed to evolve in its own right. So we're going to put this into the best suits for sure for Miles. And it's such a shame that we didn't keep this one around. Now the programmable matter suit, I feel like they kind of updated it a little bit to have more of an effect here. Um, but they'd actually use it a pretty decent amount in Miles Morales. It's a good suit, right? Like it's got really cool effects, but it kind of feels like when you look at the suit, it wouldn't be like fun to move around in. Like you can hear all the cracking of the suit, like it just looks like he's wearing a mirror. But I know it's programmable matter, so it'd be cool. So I'll put it in a good suit tier list. Like I, I like it, but it's a bit, it's a bit, it's a bit much. Yeah, the strike suit, dude. I've got to say this. Like I don't know how big of a controversial opinion this would be, but this is probably one of the coolest suits for Miles in Miles Morales as well. Um, and Marvel Spider-Man 2. Like personally, I think this suit actually was underloved. I haven't seen too much love for it, but look at the gauntlets, man. They're amazing, there's big emblems, like big spiders on the chest there. You've got like this energy pulsating through the entire suit. You've got a big emblem there and on the back. I mean, it's just such a clean suit, man. And I'm gonna be using it a lot in this game, actually. So this one goes into the best suits as well. Like it's really grown on me and I wish I used it more. Um, so it's just so cool. Now, Agent of Shield suit, like obviously this is just a shield suit for Miles. Which is cool, like it, it, it's cool, I'm glad to see some shield love, but I, I don't know man, I don't really care too much for it, you know, like, like yeah, I'll probably use it here and there, but it's not like the most mind-blowing suit of all time to me, like it's it's just an alright suit, you know, like it, it's cool, like it's there, like yeah, <laughs> you know, like it is what it is man. Now we're going on to the great responsibility suit. 
So this is the suit that Miles gets as a gift at the start of Spider-Man Miles Morales by Peter. Um, you know, gets his own heart, his own UI that then Genki and Miles both hack and put into his new suit. Um, you know, he's got a lot of knee pads and elbow pads, which is like really considerate of Peter to give to him. Um, and then Miles, of course, designs his own suit, which I'm really glad. <laughs> but it's like a pretty interesting suit, right? Like it's it's pretty cool, you know. Like it's it's alright, but at the same time, like this back here, it's just it's too bland, you know. Like Pete, you could have done a bit better with that. So it's like it's it's, it's an alright suit, you know. It's like it's, it's alright, nothing too crazy. Like it's cool, but then it's like eh, you know. You use it once, and then you unlock something better, or you just use the classic. Now, across the Spider-Verse, I'm really glad they included this one because it just looks so damn good here as well, right? Like, it looks good. Um, obviously, you know, you've got all the right details. It's just, like, pretty much one-to-one, -one, like, from the movie because I'm pretty sure when they do these types of suits, they actually get um, the file or something like that that they used in the movie and then they kind of rework it for the game and base it off of that with their own, like, Insomniac tweets for, like, not tweets, tweaks for proportions and things like that as well. So this one goes up in the uh, best suits, of course. So how could you not? And the same with the Crimson Cal suit. This is actually one of my favorites as well, too. I mean, that crimson color just goes super hard. Um, but actually, I don't know if I could put this into the best one. Like, I really do like it. But at the same time, it's like, I don't know, man. It's kind of not really grown on me as much. Like I've really used to like it and I would probably say it's one of the best ones, but now it's kind of like, it's 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 good, right? Like it's it's a good suit, but it's not the best to me personally. And then we've got the best there is suit, which is clearly Miles' Wolverine from one of the alternate universes out there in the comics, which is fantastic on its own. I mean, dude, look at this. This is like a nice teaser as well for what's to come with Marvel's Wolverine. Um, in the next couple of years, probably like 2025 or something like that. Um, looks seriously really cool. And then the alternate styles as well are really nice. Um, I'll definitely put this as a good suit, right? Like it's a really damn good suit. Probably not the best to me personally, um, but it's good, right? Like I really like it, you know? And we've got the Dark Ages suit, which is actually probably one of my favorites of all time for Miles. And if you don't know what this is, this is from like a storyline where I guess there's no more power in the world and things are going to go really bad. Um, Miles gets kind of the Venom and Carnage symbiote put on him at the same time. And that's why his suit looks like this. Like he's got both of the symbiotes on him at once. Or at least if, if that's if I remember correctly. The suit is just really, really good to look at. It is amazing. And I absolutely adore this one. Like, and I'm actually really happy that they included symbiote suits for Miles in this game because then I, like, I plan on doing a full symbiote suit playthrough for Peter and for Miles, which I'm currently in the works of uh, soon. So stay tuned for that if you haven't subscribed already and you made it this far. Make sure to drop a like as well. I'd appreciate it. Now, the absolute carnage suit, <laughs> best suit personally as well, um, because first of all, like you can't really tell from here, but like the suit actually moves. It's not just like a costume where it's like uh, cosmetic, like it actually is a symbiote suit and it like kind of wiggles around, it's gross. And that's perfect. And then the styles as well are really good too. Um, so it also goes into the best suits personally, just because of how good it is. And the same has got to be said about the King in Black suit. It also moves, it's also a symbiote suit. And if you don't know who the King in Black is, in the comics, Null, the god of symbiotes, is the king in black. He controls all the symbiotes, all the hive mind. The symbiotes kind of trap them in a sleep, like the symbiote planet. He was in the middle of it, just in a deep slumber. He wakes up, comes to Earth to reclaim, I think, the Venom symbiote or something like that. I, I, I'm like paraphrasing here, I can't 100% remember. Um, long story short, Venom beats, it, beats him and becomes a new king in black. And that spiral on Miles' head is actually like kind of that emblem of Null, the god of symbiotes, which was actually teased in Marvel's Spider-Man as well, with the meteorite fragment, so, <laughs> yeah, if, if Null comes, we're, we're gonna have a good time, and I think this suit is definitely one of the best, like, if you look at the styles as well, it's got some really cool ones, but at the same time, like, Miles just looks incredible in this, like, you've got the kind of bone protrusions for his shoulder pads, the emblem looks amazing, and it, it's pretty much just a null emblem, but it looks good. And it kind of looks like it's the classic mouth suit underneath that as well. It's like you got a symbiote on him, 
which is just like damn dude best suit as well and then here we have the auricula suit if i'm pronouncing that right so this is just the the flag like the port uh, the puerto rican flag as a suit like you see this one in the comics i think it's like a parent cover or something but it's such a cool suit and i'm really glad that this one's in the game it's very important to miles and to the character and it just looks amazing like it really does and it is also one of the best miles suits so there we go slap it right up there boom now we're moving on to <laughs> the smoke and mirror suit which is actually pretty cool in my opinion right so this one you get after you finish all the mysterio missions and it's actually like really cool and i just noticed that he's actually got lenses there like in the middle like you know i thought it was just yeah you can kind of see it there <laughs> It's amazing, man. I don't know. Like, I, I'm always a sucker for green and uh, purple for miles, like the kind of Prowler style colors. But the gold and the whole Mysterio like emblem thing in the back looks fantastic. Kind of looks like the PS4 emblem, right? But just like kind of more wicked in a way, or kind of more um, mysterious, if you will. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't know, man. This suit's really growing on me, and it's like it's, it's a damn good suit. You know, like it's good, man. <laughs> That's really cool actually. And now we're in the most dangerous game suit, which Miles has a version of this one as well, just like Peter does. And you get this one as well for when you finish doing the Craven missions. And if you want to see a playthrough with these suits, please do let me know, because I will be very happy to do that. Now this suit is easily like <laughs> it goes up there into the best suits. Same like with Peter's because they're both just so good looking they're both such cool suits and i mean man they just look menacing as hell dude and the city sound suit as well dude this one you get for doing the museum side mission um where you save all the you know all the instruments and things and you save the museum obviously and it's just such a classic suit man it is such a classic suit. it is so beautiful and it's a very important suit, man. I, I love this one. <laughs> I really do. So it's got to go up there. as uh, one of the best suits as well, for sure. Right, like there's just no way in hell I'm not going to put it up there. It's just too good. It's too good. And now we're here with the Deluxe Edition suits from Miles. And we're starting it off pretty strong with the encoded suit. And if you notice there on his neck, similar to the Apocalyptic suit where it has the uh, Amazing Fantasy 15, here it's got 42 which is the like earth 42 or 42 it's it's a very important number for for miles things right this suit actually really like like yellow red and like black and then the sort of colors here are mixed really well and it's one of my favorite like technological suits for miles and favorite like deluxe edition suits overall so this one goes into the best suits tier list too um this just looks good and we're moving on to biomechanical this one's also really cool as well i wouldn't say it's the best like it's kind of the face that puts me off a little bit i guess but he's got like the are they called mandibles what are they called like they're the the spider mouth things the fangs or whatever they look amazing and then the emblem in the back which looks really cool too so the biomechanical suit actually really really it's really good actually like it's a really good suit so I'll definitely slap it in that tier list. Now, the Power Ranger suit, otherwise known as the Tokusatsu suit, or Tokusatsu, however you say it. I'm a sucker, this one goes into the best. I grew up watching Power Rangers, um, things like that, so this is very close to me, like in terms of, I love the design. I, I, <laughs> I kind of want to see Peter having something like this too, so then we could just have like a kind of Power Rangers playthrough. So this one goes into the best suits as well. Which I'm really happy to say that some of these suits actually go up there as well. Now the, uh, I don't know how to pronounce this one, Agamat suit, purple and gold. Damn cool scheme, man. A really cool scheme. It's really grown on me, actually. Probably my least favorite part of the suit is the lenses. But the rest of it, my lord, this one looks nice. Um, it, it goes into the good uh, suits, to be honest with you. Um... Just because like I don't know I, the lenses really put me off and I think that's one of the more important things that you know um, are to do with a suit for 
a spidey suit, right? Because it's the, one of the first things that you see, and it's very prominent in cutscenes too. So that's the whole reasoning. And then we we're here with the final suit of the video, which is the Red Spectre suit. And this one's actually really cool because, first of all, you know, Miles' hair is dyed there, it looks awesome. He's got a hood on, the colors red and black, I mean, and white. It's just awesome to look at. I think I'll put this one in the good uh, tier list as well. Like, it's not my favorite of all time, but it's good, right? So here's my tier list. Overall, we've got an amazing amount of best suits and good suits. Some are all right. Not too many bad suits, which is actually a relief. And, you know, MCU down there in the worst suits category. So let me know what you guys think of my tier list. Make your own. I will have a link to a blank slate. And then, you know, yeah, just let me know. We're going to do a continuation of this sometime soon where we do the actual suit styles as well. So that's going to be insane. We've got like 200 suit styles to go through, which is going to be nuts. Yeah, let me know what you guys think. If you're new to the channel, make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video as well. All that good stuff. Thank you so much for all the love and support in our channel. We're super close to 100k. Watch another video here. Have a wonderful day. Peace.